Hi, I'm Eric from Camping with Corgis. And we're gonna talk about our tow vehicle, this 2021 Honda Pilot. Now, it's not my choice for a tow vehicle. This is my tow vehicle. But in, in addition to our fifth wheel, we have a 2020 Grand Design 3350RL fifth wheel. We tow that with our F350 Dually. It has power all day. But we also have family that like to come camping with us. And we decided that we were gonna in, invest in a pop-up camper. So we bought a 2007 Fleetwood Niagara. That camper weighs 3,500 pounds. Its tongue weight is 350 pounds. Essentially, it's about half the weight of this. A 2021 Honda Pilot without the tow package will tow 3,500 pounds. That's right on the line. I didn't want to burn out the transmission. So we, so to prep this for towing, we've installed a transmission cooler. I had Honda do that. And remember, you can get a Costco coupon to take 15% off of that install at Honda. Um, I installed a brake controller that we got from e-trailer, a hitch, and a seven pin connector. And it's pretty easy. You could hook up the hitch yourself at six bolts. The seven pin connector just goes right into the factory wiring harness. All of those parts are available on e-trailer. But to be even safer when we towed, because my wife's probably gonna to be towing with this tow vehicle, I decided to get a weight distribution hitch. And we went with the Fastway E2, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, setting up this Fastway E2 hitch with sway control, so it, to keep it uh, level. I guess the other thing to say is that I, I put on, uh, we also installed the Sumo Springs in the rear coil to prevent sag in the rear. But this uh, load equalizing hitch should really help. I'm more interested in the sway control uh, aspect of that rather than the weight distribution. And there are going to be arguments out there about whether or not you should use a weight distribution hitch for your Honda Pilot. I'm going to leave that to you, but for us, we decided that was the right decision. All right, we're going to do a little unboxing for this E2 round bar hitch from Fastway Trailer Products that I bought from e-trailer. Uh, I also got the deep wall socket. I got my torque wrench with me. New two inch ball. We're gonna, we got that so that we could tow our pop up camper and, uh, and have some stability control. Cause I think this camper weighs about half as much as the, uh, half as much as our Honda Pilot. So we open up the box and we see we've got our owner's manual and instructions. Uh, Part of the hitch here, your round bars. These plates go on the camper. We've got the hitch. All the hardware. And the and the tool to get those uh those bars on if you can't do it by hand. So we're going to install the shank. For the pilot, I'm going to need a rise because my ball is about uh, 15, 15 and a half inches up off the ground. This is a heavy duty piece. It is not hollow. It is solid and it's heavy. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install this and then we'll, we'll fit this up. I'll, I'll get the adjustments on that and we'll walk through that. All right, let's go over some of the special tools or not special tools, but what you're gonna need. These three quarter 10 uh, fasteners. So you get your nut and your bolt. This is inch and one eighth. You're gonna need an inch and one eighth wrench. You're gonna need an inch and one sixteenth uh, socket or wrench for the nylocks that go on the, on the other side. See here, I have them flipped. Uh, this is inch and seven eighths. E-Trailer sells a thin wall socket that fits on that because this uh, this fit down in there is pretty tight. Um, and then that's torqued to 450 tor foot pounds. Uh, so maybe you can have your your uh, 
your local RV service center do that for you. Be able to get that done for you. I uh, I had to read some calculations on flats. You know, once I got it tight, how many flats I had to get it over before it was approximately there. Because I I'm not going to go buy a 500 foot pound torque wrench uh, for this one job. To the, attach the hitch, we're going to use these three quarter ten uh, fasteners and these conical lock washers that are supplied. So one will go at each end of the assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and hook that up to where I think that the hitch is supposed to go. You also have this spacer that will go into the back of the hitch assembly and kind of tilts, be responsible for tilting the, uh, the ball hitch. Um, I think it comes with six of these. I'm going to try it with four. This upper spacer will fit in like this. So now we have the three quarter 10 uh, bolts, conical washers and nylock nuts are all on there. We're gonna, we're gonna start, we're just gonna get them snug. We're not gonna torque them all the way down. We're just gonna get them snug. When you set up your hitch, you're gonna want that ball at 18 and a half inches or at least an inch higher than that. All right, so zero to one inch higher than that when you set it up on your vehicle. Uh, to make you always want to make sure that the camper is uh, level um, I'm not quite on even ground here so I measured from the frame to the ground to make sure that I had the orientation right before I took this measurement on the uh, on the hitch next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a measurement from the hitch back 27 inches okay 27 inches max to 24 inches in case you have to get around anything like your battery box or your propane tank I think I'm gonna be pretty good right here at 27 inches but I'm gonna go ahead and mark that if you have a top mounted coupler you're gonna want these two pins facing up if you have a bottom mounted coupler like you find on larger campers you're gonna want those two pins down and they're gonna face outboard of the camper We also have the hangers that go on the other side and we're going to put those on where I marked out 27 inches with the supplied fasteners. Here we have one side. So I've got this kind of mocked up. It's sitting on there. We're going to want to make sure we get it on there uh, nice and straight. Um, and you want these as close as possible. This bottom one as close as possible to the frame. You don't want it down here someplace. You want it as close as possible to the frame. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. So here we have our bracket. It's installed 27 inches back. Okay, from the center of the hitch back to here. The center line's 27 inches. These are all three quarter inch fasteners. These are torqued. The ones that hold it to the frame are torqued to 65 foot pounds. These are nylocks. Get them nice and snug. Uh, they don't include any washers. The initial starting position, they say, is is uh, two holes down. All right, so we went down two holes, attached those, snagged them up on both sides. So here we have the hitch installed. All right, so the ball, when I measured it, is one inch higher than the than the uh, top of the hitch. So the ball comes in about one inch higher, a little bit, a little bit less. You can see that we have these washers that we use as shims. I, I used the starting point uh, based on what I read of about four. Okay, you have a bolt down here that gets tightened. You have a bolt down here that gets tightened <coughs> up against the hitch. And these large three quarter ones, like I said before, these will get torqued to about 250 foot pounds. Uh, they're just snug right now for the initial fit. Okay, the top of this is slotted. That's why you're allowed, That's what allows you to add or remove shims here. Um, but it's a good, good solid unit uh, on the back of the pilot. The next thing we're going to do, so we can tell how well this is uh, weight distributing, is we're going to measure from the uh, top of the wheel well down to the ground and see what that clearance is for both the front and rear wheels. 
So I measure in the front, that looks like it's about uh, 32 and three quarters, we'll call it. Good enough. In the rear, measuring out it right at 33. Take five. We've successfully hitched the camper up to the Honda. I'm gonna take all the weight off of that front dolly wheel and I'm gonna do some measurements uh, before I put on the bars. So on our rear wheel, right here you can see we're down to like uh, 32 inches, so it dropped about an inch. And on the front wheel, on the front wheels, we're at 33 inches even. All right, I have these on. Uh, to get them on, I adjusted them. Remember, we originally put these on, these fasteners on, using those other two holes. Uh, there was no way I could get those bars on, so I had to drop them all the way down for my setup. You can see the front wheel's all the way up off the ground. The little uh, pinwheel there is up off the ground. You can see the angle of my hitch. So what you're going to want to do is put bearing grease there to quiet the noise and put some grease on this surface right here, which will also decrease the noise, because this is where you get not only your load leveling, but your sway control. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take another measure now that everything is on the hitch. So now we're at 33 inches on the rear wheel and 32 and a half inches on the front wheels. So it has transferred that weight forward. Okay, so some final thoughts. Uh, what we had to do what I had to do, there's no we. Uh, once everything was hooked up, the weight distribution on the car was fine, uh, according to the directions. We were within a half inch of uh, unloaded, so that's good. So between, does you do your heights when it's unloaded, when it's hooked up and loaded, but no weight distribution, and you do it again with the weight distribution. Uh, so then I went back and I took some measurements on the camper. So from the bottom of the frame to the ground, that should be fore to aft, you know, front and back between one and a, no more than one and a quarter inches. Uh, if it is, you have to adjust the ball. So I was like 15 inches, uh, in the front, 15 inches or so, and 13 and something in the back, I had to adjust the ball. So I lowered the ball one notch. Uh, hooked everything back up. I uh, took my measurements again and I was right at that one and a quarter, a little less, uh, close enough for, for my, for my standards. Um, also right here at the, you want at least three inches for good sway control. And I have just over, just over three inches down here. Sorry about the camera work but it's just me with the phone. So everything's hooked up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect from the trailer. I'm gonna take everything back to the garage. I'm gonna torque everything down to the proper torque specs now that it's adjusted correctly. I'm gonna grease these uh, bearing surfaces on the flat bars and put some bearing grease up here where the, where the round end goes into the hitch and we'll be good to go. We're all, we'll be all set to safely tow this 3,500-pound uh, Fleetwood Niagara, 2007 Fleetwood Niagara. Thank you. Thanks for watching.